Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and welcome to part three of our series on making a 3D object through code in Unity. So now that we've made a triangle, we can look at its slightly more complicated relative, the quad. A quad is two triangles which share an edge and therefore form the single four-edged face in a model. All four of these vertices in a quad should exist on a single plane. Now why do we bother differentiating between triangles and quads if a quad is just two triangles? There are a few benefits to working with a quad uh, when you are building a 3D model. The first is that things like image maps, things that you're going to use for textures, bump maps, ideas like that, are rectangular in shape. So it tends to be easier to map a quad which has four sides as opposed to a triangle which has three sides when you're kind of trying to map it to a rectangular shape. Secondly, as you're going to build more complex models, quads tend to have fewer visual artifacts, kind of like unwanted noise, like uh, disturbances, when you're creating a more smooth surface on your models, which is something we'll actually talk about a little bit in the next video. Another big benefit to quads is that they divide up much more cleanly than triangles. For example, if you wanted to um, kind of quote unquote double the resolution of a quad, you can cut it into four pieces much more easily than you can do with a triangle. So we know when we're creating a quad that we're going to need two triangles, which means that our triangles array is going to have six references to vertices instead of our original three. However, that doesn't mean we need six vertices. In fact, that's not really the proper way to make a quad, although doing it that way can have some other uses that we're going to discuss in the next video as well. Instead, we can just use four vertices, much in the way that a rectangle has four corners. This is actually really beneficial because when we're referring to the corners of a quad, we're just referring to four vertices instead of having to manipulate six. It's a little bit more intuitive when we're dealing with a four-edged object. So let's jump into Unity and transform our triangle into a quad. So in Unity, we can jump into MonoDevelop and open up our procedural mesh script. Here in Procedural Mesh, we see that we have our vertices array that we make, which has our three original vertices that make up the original triangle. To this, we're going to add a fourth vertex, which is going to create that fourth corner of the rectangle that we're making. So that's going to be new vector 3, 1, 0, 1. Tighten that up a little bit there. We'll save that. Now, the first triangle is going to work the way it always has. It's going to be the first, second, and third vertices here. However, our second triangle is going to be sharing one of the edges. It's actually going to be sharing this one to two edge with the original triangle. However, it's important to note that it's actually going to do those in the opposite order so that it continues that clockwise rotation which tells Unity that it should actually render the si same side that we're facing. So in order to do that, we're going to say 2, whoops, two 1, 3, which creates this sort of clockwise order um, on the second triangle. And this actually completes our quad. I'm going to save this jump over back to Unity, we're going to hit play, and now we'll see that we get a full complete quad here in our scene and in our game view. And when we go over to our wireframe view, we can see that it's actually composed of these two distinct triangles, but these two vertices here and here are being shared between both of the triangles. And that's actually really important to how our object is going to render, particularly when we start adding materials to it. We're going to take a deeper look into why those two vertices being shared is so important in our next video where we kind of do a deeper dive into vertices on their own. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.